God has no part in sin. Therefore, he has no part in death. If he has no part in sin, then of course he has no part in death because death is a product of sin and sin is a product of man's desire. All is man, man, man. God has no hand and Satan has no hand. Satan has no hand. Somebody say, but Dr. Damina, is it not God that put the desire in man? Yes, God put the desire in man when he gave man the freedom to choose. When he gave man the freedom to choose, that freedom to choose came with man's freedom to desire. Because God did not create a robot. If you are a robot, then you have no freedom to choose. Then it means God has a remote control where he controls what you do. But God didn't create a, 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 a robotic. He created a man and gave man the freedom to choose. Why? Because God is not a tyrant. Why? Because God is love. Why is God love? Because that's who he is. How does love operate? Love does not insist on its own. Love allows you to do what you want to do. Why? Because love is not insecure. Love is secured. Love does not have insecurities. God does he have insecurities. To show you how secure he is. After he created the planet and put you in it, he gave you the freedom to choose and even allowed for you to choose things that are against him. He has no insecurities. He has no insecurities. <laughs> he has no insecurities. Why? That's why he's God. He sees the end from the beginning. And ahead of time, he already sees the end of a matter. And because he has seen the end of the matter, a loving father, he has procured a solution. In case man goes out of his plan to self-destruct, he made a provision to rescue man. I'm teaching here. Please, I beg you, pay attention. He made a provision to rescue man from the consequences of man's choices which could be detrimental which could destroy man why he loves god is not just love in the new testament love is his character before the world was created it's not after jesus died that god loved man god loved man before jesus died it is the love of god that gave christ Is the love of God for God so loved the world that he gave. So the death of Christ is the expression of God's love to an undeserving man. You didn't hear that. The death of Christ is the expression of God's love to an undeserving man. That's why it's called grace. That's why it's called grace. God created the world. You know the story of Moses. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The tree of life. Choose more free moral agent. You make the choice. But I want to advise you as a loving God, don't go to death, go to life. Man cannot understand what is death because nobody has ever died. So man didn't understand what death means. God said, look, you will die. It's not good for you. Don't go that way. This way is life. Man doesn't understand life. And man doesn't understand death because nobody has ever died. So man now dared God. You know you are a father. You tell your child, don't touch that remote control. Don't touch it. The child will dare you. The child will go and touch it. You know, it's my like my last daughter. My last daughter, okay? We're, we're fond of each other. So I now say to her when she was a little baby, and she reminds me till tomorrow. I took her because she likes to play, and I think I was very tiny. She likes to play around electric sockets. I don't know that kind of attraction attraction to electric sockets not even attraction to toys or television socket socket you know socket so every time you see her trying to put her finger inside that hole i say baby baby come baby it will shock 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 now when i now said it will shock she became more attracted <laughs> she started daring me then one day i was standing and watching her she put her finger and the socket was on. I didn't stop her. Love will let you go to hell if you want. 
love. God can love you to hell. I was just watching her. Since I've been talking, you refuse to hear. Maybe one lesson will teach you better. She put her finger, thick, and the thing shook. It shocked her. She went, <laughs> Then now, after she removed her finger, and the thing is painting her, the next thing is to look around if anybody is looking. I'm standing in one corner looking at her. The moment our two eyes jumped, I smiled. She started crying. <laughs> Till tomorrow, when she sees me, she says, You, this man, you, this man, you are very wicked. And you are standing in that corner and looking at me. And then, when he shocked me, you are smiling. <laughs> I say, Because love will let you have your way. God was watching Adam eat the fruit. He didn't talk again after the warning. God wasn't innocent. That's why he's God. He saw it. He saw Adam go. He saw Adam take a step. He saw Adam do it with Eve. He was watching them. And after they finished, God was still watching them. When they entered the bush to hide in the leaves, God saw them. And God said, Adam, Adama, where are thou? Because where you're supposed to be, you're not there. The woman you gave me, woman, I'm naked. Naked. Who told you? How did you know the word naked? Because when I created you, I didn't give you a vocabulary called naked. How did you form the word naked? He became aware of the negative, which God didn't teach him. Let no man say, when I'm tempted, there, there are some of us, we've been so, we've been so, we've been so bothered because there are things in our lives we can't explain how God will be alive and such things are happening. And we are blaming God for most things. And I came this weekend to tell you God's hands are clean. God has no hand in it at all. Somebody said, well, how can you tell me, Dr. Demina, God knew that when I was born, I didn't have a father. I didn't have a mother. Why did he allow my father and mother to die? God is not to blame. You don't know what choices your father made. You don't know what choices your mother made. God does not get involved with such things and maybe your father and mother made stupid choices that took them out of existence and they abandoned you as an orphan and you had to grow but the good thing is that God was there for you you didn't also die young he allowed you to grow he protected you somehow somehow he dropped provisions at junctions to help you grow now you've grown you can make decisions for your own life you're not responsible for your father's choices. You're not responsible for your mother's choices. You're only responsible for your own choices. Teaching good tonight. Don't your neighbor say, let no man say. When he's tempted, I'm tempted of God. Now tell your neighbor, God cannot.